Hello, my name is Marianne and welcome to Once a Duckling where I hope to encourage you to get crafty and create some fun and beautiful items for your home. And this week we are going to be creating some pictures out of some simple gift bags, some Mod Podge and some diamond dust. I found this gorgeous gift bag at a local garden centre for £2.99 but check out your local uh, gift shops for these type of items. I found a suitable frame, popped out the glass and with a pencil I'm just tracing around the glass in a position where I want the picture to be. And once you finish tracing get a sharp pair of scissors, I'm going to make it easy and do this and just cut around it. Next onto the Magic Mod Podge, grab a brush and the Mod Podge and start applying the Mod Podge to a small area of the picture. I like to work in sections, you need to make sure that the Mod Podge is still wet and tacky before sprinkling on the diamond dust, hence why I'm working in sections. If you've got a small area to cover you can totally do it all in one go, but otherwise just sort of divide it and do it one bit at a time. So as you can see I'm just applying a bit of Mod Podge, don't go crazy with it, you don't have to make it soaking wet, but make sure that there is enough on there for the diamond dust to hold. So I picked up this diamond dust from Amazon. They do a large jar, which is the one that I've got, and they do a smaller one. And all you do is sprinkle the diamond dust onto the wet mod podge and then tap off the excess. Get a piece of paper and just tap it off. And I will show you the shimmer. There you go. That is the first part of it done. Once you've done the first section, it's as simple as just continuing the exact same process. So I'm going to take my brush, go right up against where the diamond dust finished off and continue that process, adding Mod Podge and sprinkling on the diamond dust and tapping off the excess. I'm working in a slightly larger section this time, but the process is exactly the same. Now you will see to begin with that it dries slightly cloudy but that will disappear. Once it's completely dried, that line that you see there where the two are touching, that will completely clear and you will have a lovely, lovely finish. Of course, you can choose to do the whole of the picture and diamond dust it. I've gone for just doing the donkeys and just adding a little bit of sparkle to the donkeys themselves to make them stand out. Leave your picture to completely dry before popping it back in the frame, but once it is, this is what you get. The glass back in and boom. There you go, one sparkly picture, all ready to put up. Now no one will ever know that this was a £2.99 gift bag and I have repeated this process with a couple of them so you can see them here. I hope you enjoyed this project. For further inspiration, come and find me at onceaduckling.com.